What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Faith Jasper. Welcome back on this fine ass Friday night. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great week with some great workouts. First and foremost, the sleeveless hoodie by Gymshark just dropped and these are gonna go out so fast. Uh, one of my favorite items for sure. I, I've already worn it four times in two weeks which is kind of a lot since I do have a lot of Gymshark clothes. But yeah, you can get it in the description if you purchase the link that you support me directly. So I would really appreciate if you do that. Uh, if you don't, that's fine too. We can be friends still. Uh, but yeah, you can get that in the description. Second thing I wanted to make for you guys since I did do custom diet plans before, uh, but I had to stop that because it takes so much time out of my day and it, the, you know there were so many people who wanted to order one. Uh, so I decided to make a diet planner kind of for you guys. Uh, I will go over it in, in this video. It's kind of a long video. So um, if you're interested in, you can get it in the description. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just get it in an Excel file. You fill in all your stats and it does all the calculating for you. And you can see how much exactly you need. And then when you fill in your meals and stuff, it calculates everything that you need or still need or have too much or whatever it is. So uh, it's a very easy tool. I wanted to make it since you know, I don't have time, so you can do it yourself now. It's, uh, that's awesome. Um, I think that's really good. Either when you lose weight or gain weight, I got the two files in the description. It's one link. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the explanation of the video. If you don't know really what I'm still saying, uh, I'll explain. I go over the whole file in this video. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy this video. All right, guys. Let's jump into the file. Now, I kind of explained how it works. We're going to open a file here and this is what you get uh, It's the package. You get a empty shredding one um, you can use if you want to lose weight. And this one is the gain weight and already has my diet filled in. But these two things are pretty much the, the thing that you get in this package if you download it. So if you downloaded it, you can open it up and um, let's go just go over what it is exactly and what it does and how to work it. So. As you can see, you need Excel to for this file. So that's one thing you need Excel. Um, when it comes up, you click enable editing somewhere and you can edit the file. Um, so this is my bulk diet already filled in. Uh, but obviously you, you're going to fill it in to your specific numbers. Uh, I'll explain it. There's a lot of numbers here. Uh, we're going to go over it. It shouldn't be too hard to follow. First step as you can see here is your weight. Uh, in pounds, my weight is 158.4. I measured it the time that I made this. Um, but let's just start from the beginning and let's say we are a new person. My name is Tim. I weigh 145 pounds. Boom, 145. And I click enter. And as you can see, a lot of things are already changing um, in this table here. All right. So that's the first thing you want to do. Your weight, then your height. I am 168 centimeters. It's in centimeters, so if you are 5'7 or whatever, or uh, just, it doesn't really matter too much, but I like to put it in centimeters. If you put it in feet and inches, you do, do, do that. And I'm 18 years old. So my name is Tim, and I weigh 145 pounds. I am 168 centimeters high in length, and I'm 18 years old. Now, the first thing that you can see changing when you change the weight, say 146, is these numbers change. So this, this is the first row, is your maintenance calories. Now, the way people calculate generally maintenance calories is your body weight in pounds times 14 or times 17. So between those. So that's why, um, so that's why we have a low and a high estimate of those two numbers. Um, since everybody's different depending on their activity levels. Um, also, uh, the fast metabolism, someone has a very fast one, the other one has a little bit slow one. It, that's why it's an estimate, but it's usually between those two numbers. So let's say Tim is 146 pounds. Um, his maintenance calories on the low side are 2044 and on the high side 2482 calories per day. Um, now we come to the th second row, which says bulk calories. Um, now this is this number plus 300 uh, because I think 300 is a good amount of calories to up your maintenance calories uh, when you want to bulk up. It's very fairly lean bulk. Uh, same with the high one. So uh, let's say you are very active in school. 
um, you are very active during the day. You uh, buy some, maybe you're, you you bike a lot, you run a lot, you do a lot of stuff, and you're working out as well. Then you would say you have a very high activity level. When you have a very high activity level during the day, you you know you're looking more at the high side of this estimation uh, since you have a higher activity you burn more calories so you need to eat more to you know actually bulk up so um, but if you are a very low activity you sit in your computer all day you play a lot of video games you go to school but with bus and you sit around all day uh, but you do work out um, you are a low or moderate moderate activity level person then you want to look more to the lower side of the estimation and it could also obviously be in the middle but this is also a very a, a, a test you know so you kind of try to do 2300 for example it doesn't work after a week you weigh yourself every day or two weeks and you're not getting weight then you up the calories a little bit you know so what this basically does is it says the bulking calories so let's say we're gonna go uh, with the high estimate um, one uh, I'll go over this one uh, after. Um, so we're going to go over the high estimate since Tim has a very high daily activity. We're going to delete those two. Um, so we have a you know, very high activity level on a daily basis, right? So now you can see it already calculates. So let me change this up for you so you guys can see. Um, see, this, these are the macros for 175. Um, 146, Tim weighs. Bam. Okay, so what it does is your body weight times 1.2 is your protein intake. So that it calculates already. It's the same for every single one. So 175 grams of protein a day. Um, then it calculates the fat, which is usually between one point, uh, 0 0.45 and 0 0.55. So the low estimate is 4.5, high estimate is 5.5. So let's say we are the high estimate one, as I said, 80 grams of fat a day to bulk up, which isn't a lot, it's good to do, it's awesome, uh, perfect. Then it calculates the difference, so one thing you should know is a carb and a protein are both per gram four calories, and a fat is nine, and you also have alcohol, which is seven, but I left that out basically because I know you guys don't drink, I know a lot of you guys are underage, so that's why I didn't want to include it, and I personally don't drink myself, so I don't really um, include alcohol at all. So now it calculates um, 175 times 4 and 80 times 9, which comes to an, a certain amount of number, which is the amount of calories, and then we still need a lot of calories uh, from this. So it ca divides that difference uh, through 4, which is obviously the amount of calories a carb needs, and it comes with this number, 340 grams of carbs, which, um, you know, it's quite a lot, but carbs are awesome because it gives you a lot of energy. It's a direct energy source for your body. So uh, that's why these numbers come up. Now, if those numbers come up, and this is Tim, and this is his daily macronutrial, macronutrient intake, um, then we're going to scroll down a little bit to this part of the thing. Now, it says we are, this is the you know, this is the section where it says your goals. You know, this are, these are the same numbers. You can see 175, 340, 80. These numbers are the same as these ones. So if you change this, this changes, this changes, this changes, and this all changes. Um, so since we are on a high goal, you can see by the color yellow, high estimate, yellow. Um, we have 175, 340, and 80. So now you fill in all your food. Um, this is my diet, oats. 50 grams of oats is 6.2 protein, 33.8 carb, and 3.8 fat. You know, obviously this all difference per product and per type of thing you eat, but this is what I eat. So check your labels and make sure you fill it in accordingly to your labels. Um, so let's say we fill in oats, but this one is five protein, 35 carbs, and four fat. Yours is a little bit different than mine. Obviously that's true. Um, so it calculates five times four, since one gram is four calories, is 20, and then 35 times four is whatever number that, that is, 140, I think. Uh, and then four times nine is 36, and it calculates all of that together to a total calorie of 196 for that part of your meal, right? So let's change it all back since I wanna keep it this way. Um, so it calculates that and then you fill in everything and then it calculates the totals of that meal. So this is the first meal, my breakfast meal, it's a fairly you know low calorie meal, 303 calories and it has 
10.3 protein, 52.8 carbs, and 5.7 fat. Now, if you do this for every single meal, as I did here, it calculates for every single one. You see here, three, three, 393, uh, 400, 626, 624, geez, I can't even read, 540, and 269. And all that calculates to 5,000, <laughs> wow, and all that calculates to 2,530.7 calories. All right, so according to um, which one you use and your goals and stuff, so let me fill it in for myself again, since this one is put for myself. Um, it's gonna tell you exactly how much you need. I'm more on the low side since I, my daily activity is quite low. Um, so this is what I'm going for. And this is my total. So this is super close, as you can see. And then it also tells you right here, how much is left or you have too much. So I have seven protein too much, I have two carbs too much, and I have three fat too less. Is that even a word? Uh, but I still need three grams of fat. So if you, if let's say I delete this protein, which is my last protein source, my Greek yogurt, it change it, damn, you see, oh damn, I need 36 more protein, you know? And if you change it back, it's all good. So, um, yeah, pretty much you fill your weight in. Um, it calculates your uh, the amount of calories you're going to need, probably, estimately. And then it figures out your macros. And then you can also do the big bulk, which if you are um, a big guy, you want to get really, really big, you want to go really heavy with the food, you, you eat very easy, you eat a lot, then it does the 500 plus um, the... Est well, it has the low estimate and then does plus 500, I think. Um, or no, it... It adds 200 to the high estimate. So if you want to really get, you know, go fast and do like a more like a dirty bulk thing or a big bulk thing, um, then this one you can use. And it also has, you know, all those settings right here. So if I do the big bulk, I still need 600 calories, but obviously I'm not doing that, uh, but that's the way it goes. So pretty much depending on your activity levels, depending on how you fill in your weight and depending on how much you do here you can see your totals and if it's okay uh, it tells you here if it's not okay it also tells you here uh, you can look it in it's very easy actually um this is just one of those things that I wanted to make for you guys since I don't have a lot of time to do custom for everyone but this is pretty much the, the tool that you need to kind of make your own you know um, you just have to fill in your 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 stuff and make sure those are accurate and uh, it do does all the work for you so um yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. You, as I said before, you can get it in the description. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on this video if you did. If you want to share it with a friend or whatever, go ahead. Be my guest. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll talk to you guys in another one. Deuces.